This is a typical embedded system targeting Microblaze. Microblaze supports two bus standards, the PLB V46 and the Xilinx Local Memory Bus Standard, or LMB. The local memory bus is designed to interface only to local FPGA block RAMs that are included in the FPGA. The PLB V46 bus standard is designed for high speed and high bandwidth peripherals. It supports 128 bits of data and 36 bits of address. It also includes dynamic bus sizing and a programmable burst size. The PLB V46 bus standard is transportable to the PowerPC 440 embedded system supported with other Xilinx FPGAs. This allows the designer to migrate peripherals targeting one embedded system to another. You should also note that Microblaze does not include any cache resources by default. But when activated within the utility, that is EDK, Microblaze will implement cache using block RAMs, as seen by the instruction cache and data cache blocks at the top of this diagram. Microblaze also supports a fast simplex link, commonly called an FSL. The FSL is designed to offload computationally intensive functions to the FPGA fabric, such as a large multiplication or a large math function that might be completed more efficiently with the DSP slice resource. By delivering the multipliers to the logic and then routing the solution back from the multiplier to the microblaze core, we can save cycles of execution on the PLB V46 bus and use minimal logic resources because the DSP slice resources are also dedicated in the silicon. The FSL simply constructs a FIFO and routes the signals appropriately to and from whatever logic is attached at the other end. The microblaze processor also includes a tightly coupled off-chip flash SRAM memory controller interface to provide high-speed, low-latency access called a cache link. The cache link interface implements the cache function without tying up the PLB V46 bus. This is similar to the fast simplex link structure. This diagram also shows a pretty typical application in which a designer decided to offload some parts of the embedded system to a microblaze processor. In this case, a PowerPC 440 system has its own PLB V46 master bus and also has a shared slave bus that is also connected to a microblaze core. This is done so that the less time intensive functions can be offloaded to a separate processor. In this example, that's the microblaze processor. The memory controller can be customized to support ZBT, double data rate, and other memory component standards. This, like any other peripheral, can be customized to the memory component with the EDK software, or in the case that we'll look at, the base system builder. Often customers will ask how fast that system can run. That will depend on the processor and the number of peripherals on each bus, specifically how many LUTs and registers are required for each peripheral on each bus will determine how fast each bus will run. In this case, the entire system except for the PowerPC 440 core, is going to be built with standard FPGA resources, that's LUTs and registers. So the speed will depend on the size of the entire FPGA design and the ability of the implementation tools to place and route the design optimally. Now, as I mentioned, there is a lot of IP included with EDK for both Microblaze and the PowerPC 440 processor systems. All of this IP you see here is free, and this includes bus infrastructure and bridge cores, memory and memory controller cores. There's debug components, both for chip scope, peripherals, arithmetic functions, timers, interprocessor communication components, external peripheral controllers, DMA controllers, PCI cores, as well as the user core template and other cores that are included in this library. Now let's have a look at the Microblaze processor core in some more detail. One of the benefits of Microblaze being a soft processor core, again, is that you only get the functionality you want and none of the functionality you don't need. That saves FPGA resources and helps you improve the embedded system speed because there's less logic to be placed and routed. 
In this diagram, all the resources that are optional are shown in gray. Now, unfortunately, that may not show up very well in this diagram, but in this case, the optional components are the iCache on the left, the data cache on the right, the memory management unit on top, as well as the resources included as part of the ALU, the barrel shifter, the multiplier, the divider, and the floating point unit. Microblaze can also optionally use the dedicated DSP slice resources as part of the ALU. This will improve speed and save lots and registers. Likewise, the cache resources are implemented with local block RAMs. There is also a tightly coupled floating point unit which supports addition, subtraction, multiplication division, as well as comparison operations, and that's optional. Microblaze also offers an optimized pattern comparison instruction and caching for the case you're using off-chip or off-FPGA memory resources. Microblaze is a soft RISC processor core that uses a 32-bit address and data bus architecture. It has a 32-bit instruction word with three operands and two addressing modes. Each of the 32 registers is 32 bits wide. It has a programmable pipeline stage with a choice of three or five stages. The three-stage configuration is accomplished with the area optimization setting. Note this can be done in the base system builder or with an EDK to set that option. Microblaze also uses a big Indian format. Now Microblaze uses a full Harvard architecture, which means that it has a separate bus for address and data lines. It uses the PLBV46 bus standard. Use of the PLBV46 is optional only to the extent that a designer may not need any peripherals. If you do need any peripherals, then they'll have to be attached to the PLBV46, and that means you're going to have to have it. But in the case you can avoid it, that would mean you're building a very simple microblaze system that might just be the processor and local block RAMs attached to the local memory bus, and perhaps an FSL link to drive uh, to some other dedicated hardware. But of course, most systems will need peripherals, and that will require that PLBV46 bus. It's not typical not to use it, but it is possible. The local memory bus commonly called the LMB is a Xilinx bus format. It is designed to provide data and address information to Microblaze without any bus transactions and store that data into the local block RAMs. Now this is very efficient, but most customers need a large memory space to store their software, and each FPGA has a limited amount of block RAM. The most block RAMs are available in the Vertex 6 device family, and this ranges from 5 meg up to 38 meg. But frankly, most customers find this device too expensive a price to just use a lot of block RAM to store software. So most customers will use an off-chip memory component unless their software is very small, meaning it fits in a maybe four, maybe eight block RAMs. And they have that many block RAMs available. Not very typical, but something, again, an option that is left to you. Now, Microblaze also has a feature called the Fast Simplex Link, which is designed to act as a dedicated unidirectional point-to-point -point data streaming interface. This works best when a designer has a large arithmetic function that he wants to migrate to dedicated hardware, such as an implementation of an arithmetic function or some other DSP functionality that could fit properly into, say, a DSP slice. So take, for example, a large multiply and accumulate function would perform too slow in software but can be implemented very quickly and efficiently in a single DSP slice. To do this, the designer would need to use two FSL links to send the two operands and one FSL to route the operand or the result back to the Microblaze FSL port. So that means that it would use a total of three FSL links out of the available 16 FSLs per Microblaze core. Microblaze also supports the use of a cache link port for instruction and data caching of the contents from an off-chip memory component. This is done with the use of an off-chip memory controller attached to a PLB V46 bus and allows the retrieval of data from a flash SRAM or DDR2 off-chip memory component. It provides high-speed, low-latency access without tying up the PLB V46 bus. This is similar to the fast simplex link or FSL link functionality. 